Hi everyone, and welcome to week four of this year's FemEng Virtual Outreach Project. This week, we're gonna be learning about electrical engineering and making wave machines again. I'm Mairead, and I'm in my third year at the University of Glasgow studying electronics with music. This is a really cool degree because it lets me study my two passions, engineering and music, together in the same course. I'm also a general board member at FEMEN. So what do electrical and electronic engineers do? Well, anything that requires power has probably been designed, built and tested by an electrical or an electronic engineer. This includes everything from the screen you're watching this on, to the toaster that made your breakfast this morning, or the wind turbine that make the electricity that you get when you plug anything into the wall. Electrical engineers make the control and radar systems which sit under the skin of the world's most advanced planes and helicopters, effectively acting as their brains, senses and nervous systems. Wireless communication systems like Wi-Fi or 4G are also designed by engineers, allowing people from all over the world to communicate. Renewable energy systems like solar panels or wind turbines are also designed by electrical engineers. Computer technology also uses this form of engineering, with electrical engineers helping to make the computers and phones that people rely on every day. Building and construction also relies on electrical engineering to help design the lighting, heating and ventilation systems that are in the homes and workplaces that we use. On the screen you can see some photos of the sort of things electrical engineers work with. The right image is a circuit, similar to the sort of circuit which may be found in a computer. The machine on the left is an oscilloscope. This device is used to look at waveforms, similar to the sort of waveforms that we're going to be making today. So today we're going to be making a Jelly Baby wave machine. As you do this, hopefully you'll learn what waves are and how they work and some of the things that you use every day. You'll also see how useful waves are to electrical engineers. Before we get started on the wave machine, I'm going to run you through some of the key concepts behind waves. Waves transfer energy from one place to another. For example, think about waves in the sea. The water itself isn't moving along, but the energy is transferred from one bit of water to the next bit of water, which creates the wave. Electricity is also a wave made up of a flow of tiny particles called protons and electrons. The energy in these waves is what brings the power necessary to be able to turn on appliances such as the lights or a TV. There are two main types of electricity, direct current, which doesn't change direction as it flows down a wire, and alternating current, which does change direction. DC, or direct current, is found in batteries and within devices like phones, whereas AC, or alternating current, is a type of energy that comes out of wall sockets when you plug something in. I also study music, which relies heavily on waves. Music is really just an arrangement of sounds, and sounds are a form of wave. Waves are really important to electrical engineers as we use waves to make and control the circuits that we design. We need to understand how waves work in order to make our designs as safe and efficient as possible. So that's enough learning about waves, it's time to make our own. So the first thing that you'll need is a jelly baby or another type of gummy sweets. The sweets don't all need to be the same size, but it's really important that each sweet can be paired with another that's equal in size to balance its weight. So today I'm going to be using fruit pastels. You'll also need sticky tape that's at least five centimetres wide, like this. Um, you'll need two stands to spin the wave machine from, so today I'm using two chairs but you can also have one person at each end hold the machine or you can use a clamp stand which would work even better. you also need some skewers like these. You'll need a pen to mark the, the skewers and you also need a ruler or a measuring tape to measure the, the skewers. So let's get started. It's really important that the sweets are an equal distance from the middle, so it's worth putting a mark halfway down each skewer and lining those up to achieve this. So, I'm going to open these skewers. Get those out. Um, line those up so they're all, all the same length. Um, now I'm going to measure the skewers. So your skewers might be a different length, so it's worth measuring them. Um, so this, they are 25 centimetres long, so we're going to have to make a mark 12 and a half centimetres down the middle of each, of each skewer. So once I do one, I can hopefully just carry that along. So now we have our skewers with a mark in the middle of each of them. 
So now it's time to push a sweet onto each end of the skewer. Like I said, today I'm using fruit pastels, but you can really use any sort of gummy sweet. Each skewer should have the same sweet on either end to ensure that the weight is balanced. So now I have all of my skewers and they have a sweep on either end that are the same weight. So now it's time to start assembling the, the tape part of this machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out a big piece of sticky tape. Um, I'm going to lay it out on this table but you can lay it out on the floor as long as the sticky side is up. So I have my sticky tape lying flat on the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it and I'm going to um, measure five centimeter intervals so I can know how to space the skewers. So I'm going to do that now. So now I have my sticky tape with the measurements on it um, at five centimeter intervals. Now I'm ready to start sticking the sweets and the skewers to the sticky tape. So now I have my wonderful wave machine, um, which I need to now lift and stick in between these two chairs and then I'll be able to show you some really cool waves. So hopefully uh, at this point you'll now have a wave machine. Um, what I had to do, I had to stick a little bit of sticky tape on either end just to stick it to the chairs but you won't have this problem if you have it in a clamp stand or if you have someone holding either end. So this one is just over a metre long, it doesn't really matter how long you go. Um, it might be better to have small groups assemble say 50 centimetres each and then you can stick it together. Um, or you can do it all as a class, it really doesn't matter. Um, I think longer is better for kind of showing the the principle so I'm going to take you through a couple of the cool wave things that I was just talking about so if you just press down one end you will see the wave travel to the other end so as I said before waves kind of act by almost kind of like a Mexican wave so particle bounces to the next particle which bounces to the next one and it transmits the wave that way so even though the jelly babies themselves aren't moving the wave is moving through them if that makes sense so Let's get started. So you you should have seen that the wave started here and transmitted its way to the very end. Um, and now they're all jiggling a little bit. I'll wait until they settle down to show you the next wave. Now that the, the machine is settled down slightly, I'm going to show you one from the middle. Ooh, so as you saw that, it sort of travelled all the way out and then it came back. And now you can see it's still reverberating, but it's not really reverberating in any sort of pattern because the waves, when they came back, they sort of cancelled each other out. So it helped stop the wave travelling this way from this end and the wave travelling this way from this end um, because they met in the middle and sort of clash if that makes sense. So now it, uh, the patterns are all over the place. So you can have a little bit of fun with this, try and see if you can make any cool waves, try and see how long you can make your machine and how long you can still get the wave to travel from end in. The only problem is it does take a little bit of time for the jelly babies to sort of settle down once they've had a wave pass over them but that's how normal waves work as well. So. That's all for me today. I just want to remind you that you can get in touch with any of the mentors at any time using our email address which is on screen now. We'd love to hear any questions you have and see some pictures of the machines that you've been able to make. 
Um, I hope you all have a great week and a lot of fun trying to make these machines. And I look forward to meeting you on our video call soon. Bye.